Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the, this channel called TV Player. So in today's video, we, uh, I'm on Scratch, and today I'm going to be showing you something like that we can that we mostly use in that are in mostly most games like Mario. I think uh, we we are going to be learning how to make the camera, not exactly the camera. It looks like the camera is following the player. We're gonna make in an illusion that makes it looks like makes it look like the camera is following the player. So like you can go around open world games, or else what you do is like you move, you move, and then just like uh, goes to this side goes to this side and you touch this and then it, you can change the background but that's a bit boring also so we're gonna be making this why am i acting like i'm anyways let's get on with this video So first of all, you're going to need your character in a Scratch. It could be any version, I think, but yeah, I'm, I'm on Scratch. 3.1, 1.8.1. So uh, let's rename this to player. So then we've got our sprites. Let's player sprite. You can make it even smaller for bigger maps. But I'm going to keep it on 50 because it looks a bit better. Then we need to make a background. We we can we need to make a backdrop for our player. So let's pick a color, green color for the grass. I put the saturation on high, and then I'm gonna just see you know no outlines, and then when you go and then go to backdrops, and then just use this and then cover the whole screen. Now I'm also going to do that here. I think I'll make it a bit smaller. And now we can make our uh Yeah, we can make our map. So, I'm going to be making a lake right over here a lake and then i'm going to be making like that the rock thing like the 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 ledge the lake or something um no that's not what i wanted this mouse is like it always does what it wants so it's a bit annoying no outlines and then just like this I'm going to be covering it with it and then I'm gonna take it back one step yeah it looks kind of cool so now let's take this and then make like some sort of a house house of some sort to be going like this a line i'm going to clicking this and then making another line another line and another line and i think you know what i'm going for now like this and then now i'll make a door change the color to make it like that cool now let's make a let's add a tree right up here let's get uh oh let's click on something else outside then let's get our brown color make the log then now let's get a color for the tree i'm gonna get dark green and i will use uh, the tool wait um i will make it green and then i'll have no upline 
then I just make it like this a big circle then I'll use this I, I guess like this something like this something oh that's one very uh abnormal Normal tree, tree, tree. <laughs> I'm gonna use the circle in and make a bit of more abnormality now that we're done with our background as you can see it's small let's make it let's uh zoom it to its limit and then now the player is there so first of all what we want to do is when this when flag is correct you want to be in player let's uh, let's just rename this to background so this is going to be a simple tutorial it's going to be like in a few minutes i think so to player what we want to do is go to looks then on looks we have to click on go to front layer so it always stays above the background so let's put it for put it in a forever loop and we're done for a player we don't need anything i mean you can add animations like or we'll get to that we'll get to that sorry let's click let's take a forever loop when flag clicked forever you need a if else statement then key pressed when a key pressed i'm just gonna duplicate this two times you uh when flag clicked forever if if else statement and inside the else there's if else statement and inside the else there's if else statement and inside this else you need a if statement if statement and you need this i will be using the arrow keys but you can use the wsd up arrow down arrow right arrow and left arrow now we're done for the movement of the key the keys now when we press the keys we want our we want it to give the illusion that the player is moving and not the background so what we want to do is do the opposite of these functions so normally when you press the up key it will go like change y by uh five or something but we want it to be minus five you need to put the opposite number of you have to put the opposite number for each of this each of these uh, key pressed if each of these if statements change x by right is five so we have to do minus five and then change x by five so now if we run this then as you can see our pl our player sprites there then if we press the arrow keys it gives out the illusion that our player is moving but it doesn't seem like it's moving a lot it gives out the illusion that it's the player is moving i mean you can go through this for now but you can add like you can add like uh some you can make these ponds and trees different sprites and like when you collided them just go back or bounce or something but this is all i wanted to show you share with you guys you can it gives up the illusion that the player is moving by moving the background and so this way you can create big levels for um, some kind of games like rpg games and it's it will be easier to do so without like when you touch the wall you will go to another background go to another background and blah 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 you can add like uh let's make it broadcast a message i'll leave it as message one message one message one uh i'm gonna put it on top actually message one and then message one so what happens is when i receive message one this is a
Let's do uh, Slooks next costume. That, that, whoa, whoa, wow. That should work. And it's stuck like that. When I receive message one, then click on next costume. Switch costume to costume. Let's add a delay to this because it looks like it's trying to fly. 0 0.02 seconds. <laughs> now, if we play this, then. Yeah, this is all I can do on a short time, but you can change it up however you like, like maybe change broadcast message one and then change Y when repeat until you can add like if a bar is pressed and repeat until not not uh not key key this is place until not this key is pressed so if we do this again then the you might have your own ways to do this but i when I'm making videos, I have no idea what to, how to do stuff. So this is the best I've got for now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new from this video. And I hope you use this mechanic to make your own games, like some kind of RPG game and not make this. So uh, I'll see you next time in another video. Bye.